All right, so we have this expression to simplify. Notice that there's not an addition or subtraction going on. This is all multiplications, divisions, which makes the problem manageable. Before we raise anything to the third power, we're going to simplify the expression inside the parentheses. Between negative 12 and 15, both of them are divisible by 3, so we can cancel that out. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now between x to the 10 and x to the 6, we have this rule of exponents. So that means that x to the 10 over x to the 6 is the same as x to the 10 minus 6, which is x to the 4. So that means that in the numerator, we're going to have four of them left. Basically, imagine x times x times x 10 times, and then in the denominator, 6 times, and we cancel out all 6. So we run out in the denominator, and there is four more left in the numerator. Now, y to the fourth divided by y to the fourth, there is complete cancellation, so it's gone. And z to the fifth power divided by z to the third power is the same as z to the five minus three power, that's z squared. So this is a much simpler expression to raise to the third power. So next up here is what we're gonna do. So first, using this rule of exponentiation, when this entire quotient is raised to the third power, we can do it with numerator to the third power divided by the denominator to the third power. So that's negative four, x to the fourth z squared to the third power divided by five to the third power. Now we're gonna further break down this expression using this rule of exponents that says if we're exponentiating a product, we can do it factor by factor. So that means that this expression is gonna be the same as negative four to the third power, x to the fourth to the third power, z squared to the third power, divided by 5 to the third power. Negative 4 to the third power is negative 64. And 5 to the third power is 125. And now we're going to use this rule of exponentiation. According to that, x to the fourth power further raised to the third power is x to the fourth times 3 power. So we have x to the 12th power in the numerator and z to the sixth power also in the numerator. One more comment, these are both perfectly acceptable final simplified answers. So it doesn't matter which one you present. Thank you for watching.